Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's grade six, unit one, lesson 13, practice problems review is on polyhedra. And in number one, we're asked to select all polyhedra. Well, A is polyhedra, D is polyhedra, and this crazy looking shape B is a polyhedra as well. So we have A, B, and D. E is not because it's a sphere and has the circle, um, no line segments there. And then C is not, even though it's a cone, you have that circle base, and so it's not technically polyhedra. Question two. Is this polyhedra a prism, a pyramid, or neither? And explain how you know. Well, it is a prism. You have two bases, one and two. Now, when we look at the number of faces, well, you've got the two bases, and then you have eight of these rectangles coming around the side. So faces, the two bases plus those eight rectangles, would be 10 faces. Your number of edges is 24, and your vertices is 16. In question three, Tyler said this net cannot be a net for a square prism because not all the faces are squares. Do you agree or disagree with Tyler? Explain your reasoning, and I slipped in disagree there because, well, I disagree. When you look at these bases here, the two squares, you actually have two square bases. And since we name our prisms based on the shape of the base, this can be folded into a, a square prism. Now question four gets us back to triangles. Explain why each of these triangles has an area of nine square units. Well, if I look at this base here, one, two, three, four, five, six, has the base of six. And then if I look to draw in a height, it's going to be somewhere that connects the base of six at a right angle with that blue line I just drew in. Might as well call that my height at the right angle has a height of three. Area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. So six times three divided by two is 18 divided by two, which is nine square units. That's B, or I'm sorry, A, what about B? One, two, three, four, five, six units for the base. And once again, if I look for my height here, coming down at the right angle, this object, this triangle has a height of three. So once again, it's going to be the same exact work to get an area of nine square units. As I look towards C, we have a base of one, two, three, four, five, six for the base. When I look to sketch in a height, it's going to be somewhere along that yellow line. And that height is going to once again be three units. So that too has a base of six, a height of three, which will result in an area for the triangle of nine square units. As we go to question five, a parallelogram has a base of 12 meters and a height of one and a half meters. What is its area? Well, area formula for a parallelogram is area equals base times height. So a base of 12 and a height of one and a half gets us an area of 18 square meters. A triangle has a base of 16 inches and a height of 1 8 inch. What is its area? Well, area formula for a triangle is area equals base times height divided by 2. And so if we have a base of 16, 
a height of 1 eighth. We'll divide the whole thing by 2. Now 16 times 1 eighth is 2. And then divide by 2 and you get 1 square inch. Looking at C, a parallelogram has an area of 28 feet and a height of 4 feet. What is its base? Once again, the area formula for a parallelogram is area equals base times height. We're given the area of 28 is going to equal, I don't know the base, but I do know the height is 4. A couple of different ways to go about this, but you can think what times 4 is 28, and that is 7. Or you could look at 28 divided by 4 equals 7, but either way you want to look at this, our base of this parallelogram is 7 feet. Now, a triangle has an area of 32 square millimeters and a base of 8 millimeters. What is its height? This one's a little trickier than C, but area is still going to equal base times height divided by 2 for triangles. We're given an area of 32 square millimeters is going to equal the base of 8 times whatever that height is, all of it divided by 2. Well, if I look at this question here, this up top has to be equal to 64. Whatever it is has to be equal to 64. And why do I say that? Well, our answer is going to be 32. And the only way to get there is to take 64 and divide it by 2 to get to 32. And so the top part of this question needs to be, again, 64. So 8 times what is equal to 64? 8. And so our solution here is 8 millimeters. In question 6, our last question here, find the area of the shaded region. Show or explain your reasoning. Well, I'm first going to find the area of this gigantic triangle here. Now, this length here is 6 plus 2 plus 6, which gets me 14 centimeters for the base. The height all the way, I've got 2 here and 3 there, so 5 centimeters there. So when I look for the area of that gigantic triangle, it's base times height divided by 2 again. Our base is 14, our height is 5, and we'll divide that by 2. 14 times 5 is 70. Divide that by 2 and we get 35 square centimeters. Now, what about this square over here that we need to subtract out? The area for a square, you can simplify it to length times width. It's 2 times 2, which gets you 4. And so what's the area of this just the blue region? You've got to subtract out that 4. 35 minus 4 is going to get you a final answer, 34 centimeters squared. And that is it for this grade 6 practice problems review. Good luck.